What's up, guys? This is Chris with Mad Octopus Media. 2024 is going to be a little bit different. This is my first video. Um, I'm going to focus on teaching. I, I, I really think there's a lot of people that are just buying cameras, jumping into stuff, and there's a ton of videos out there to help you start. So I want to be part of that. I want to help you guys grow and kind of tell you guys some things to avoid, some things to definitely go for. Um, so if this is some of the stuff that you guys want to see, uh, consider subscribing, like the video, comment down below what you'd like to see in a future video. Anyways, let's get started. The number one thing that I can't tell you to buy is this, the Joby Gorillapod. Um, there's a new version out, I'm pretty sure. This thing has sat in my garage for I don't know how long. You can see the dust and stuff on it. Um, they're awesome when you need them. They're awesome when you have a use for them. I don't think I've used this enough to justify even buying it all those years ago. Um, I started mounting a GoPro on it and I would like wrap it around things um, that I couldn't put a sticky on or whatever the case was. So, you know, if you're barely getting into it, avoid the Joby Gorilla Pods. Um, Joby makes great products and if it's for you, then do it. But I think in most scenarios, you can get away with a regular tripod uh, for whatever you're, you're trying to do. Speaking of regular tripods, I highly suggest just buying once and crying once. Um, this is a Manfrotto Element tripod. Um, I don't remember how much it was. This is aluminum, so it's a little bit um, heavier. But, I mean, it does what you need it to do. And you can swap the uh, center column out. So you can go inverted. Um, and you can get really, really awesome low angles for it and all that stuff. Um, it has an Arca Swiss head, so I have a bunch of Arca Swiss plates. I mean, uh, the possibilities are endless with a good tripod. You can do light paintings. You can do long exposures. Um, you can set a timer to it and take a photo of you and your friends or significant other when you're out and about and you want to get a picture and nobody else is there. Put it on a tripod, set a timer, take the photo. Um, trust me, this thing goes a long way. My only advice for this is to buy once and cry once. Um, don't really, don't buy those cheapy ones that are going to break on you after a couple uh, months or a couple times use. I use a lot of carbon fiber because it's lighter and I want to save weight as much as I can. So usually this one will stay here at the house. Um, I'll set my video rig on this, I'll level it, and I will just kind of leave it in the corner. But uh, this is a way more affordable tripod than carbon fiber. So look at aluminum, look at, uh, you know, the name brands, Manfrotto, um, Benro, Siriu, or however you say it. Um, there, there's a whole bunch out there. Uh, Best Buy has a bunch. Walmart probably has a bunch. Um, Amazon, of course. But uh, yeah, just kind of consider what you're buying and the use case for it. Uh, I definitely recommend these over the Joby Gorilla Pod. My next thing on the list, um, your camera. If you're already starting out and you have a camera and it's not mirrorless, listen to this part, okay? Because mirrorless is awesome. You can do this with Sony, Canon, Nikon, Fujifilm, uh, whatever mirrorless it is. It's Fujifilm. I have a Nikon 50-1.8 lens here. I adapted it to um a little adapter for an icon f to fuji fx and so this is my aperture ring up here on top the little silver thing and then i focus here and this of course will mount to my fuji fx system um, reason being is that now i have a 50 mil f1.8 adapted to my my camera here um, it'll save you some time it'll save you some money um it is manual focus this one was like 20 bucks they do make a lot more expensive ones i think i've seen them go as high as 600 bucks um they do autofocus they work on video they work um photo autofocus but you're going to pay for it so this thing is manual focus it's a little bit of a learning curve but i mean once you understand really the fundamentals it's not that hard just take your time compose the shot focus uh, most of the mirrorless nowadays have uh, focus help, so it'll put a line around what's in focus. It'll kind of, you know, it'll, what's the word I'm looking for? It'll fade out as things are not in focus. And you can see, you can probably change the color on it. Uh, highly recommend doing adapters for your older lenses. I have a Nikon adapter. I have a Canon adapter. I have an M42 adapter. And for those of you that know what an M42 is, it's an old mount from way, way back in the day on vintage film cameras. And uh, I've adapted it to my Nikon cameras and my Sony and now Fuji. So 
they're all over the place you can get them on amazon you can get them on bnh um, adorama everybody sells them find one look at reviews and get the one that's right for you uh, my next uh, recommendation to buy is a little air blower it blows air it'll save you in a pinch if it's dusty outside and you have to change lenses i don't recommend it sometimes you gotta do it um yeah just blow the dust off and you're good to go i mean i have three of these there's one there i had one in my bag and there's one in the case they're like 10 bucks i think you can get a two-pack for like 15 bucks so you know buy one <laughs> next is a strap um big design those are the ones i use i put anchors on everything whether it's photo or video um I bought this one on etsy and it uses the anchors from peak design um in here so yeah there it is um so yeah it just attaches to the peak design anchors i have them on my film cameras i have them on my digital um definitely a must-have definitely use a strap um it just frees up your hands for anything else if you're talking to somebody else if you're stopping to get a drink if you are walking around the subway you can just kind of you know let it hang you're taking the bus let it hang go on your phone hang out look at snapchat instagram whatever follow me hey see i threw that in there uh yeah get a strap pick design anchors can't recommend it no matter. the last thing that i'm going to recommend is a decent workstation whether it be apple or um pc windows uh get whatever works for you whatever is in your budget might i suggest using an external hard drive that's number one um, number two is getting something with at least 16 gigs of ram and number three a decent gpu um it varies from system to system so get something that's kind of in the middle so that it can handle what you're throwing at it um, i know you probably don't think that editing photos because it's not video is going to take a, a real toll on your pc um, it can your gpu also helps programs run smoothly and efficiently and all the animations and stuff that come up so don't skimp there um, lastly get an external hard drive i think i mentioned this before uh, work off of the external hard drive jump your photos onto it load lightroom or whatever you're using to edit photos work from the hard drive export to the hard drive try not to save anything on the computer you want to save as much space on that hard drive on that system uh, to make sure it runs smoothly um again this is um a 2020 macbook pro i think it's an m1 pro 16 gigs of ram so one terabyte hard drive and it is the it's a step up on the gpu it's like one above i think it's the 10 or the 12 gigabyte gpu i don't remember it's all i know i bought it and it works uh, i don't think i'm gonna upgrade anytime soon i probably won't upgrade until this thing is like on its last leg and it's gonna blow up and melt um but anyways guys that's the video like i said i really want to help you guys out this year and i want to try helping and teaching and maybe do some photo meetups here in town and just kind of walk with you guys and and listen to your questions and what you guys are concerned about um, so that's something that you want to get into and jump into with me consider subscribing like the video and leave some comments down below what you'd like to see next i have an instagram channel dedicated to the basics of photography and videography um right now it only has like 23 members so let's get it up there and, you know, answer questions and stuff through there. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.